Hello everyone, I'm Erica. And I'm Akila. Welcome, Welcome to Heart Chat. Chat. So tonight we're going to talk about Thanksgiving, because uh, Thanksgiving's coming up. Yep. And we're all, a lot of us are going home to our family, so we're talking about what that's like. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a lot that goes into that. Mm-hmm. So before we get into our topic, we're going to do our check-in. So Akila, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Um, no complaints. Uh, just getting prepared, you know, to go home. The holidays are here. And all that, Mm -hmm. (laughs) what that encompasses. So, you know, getting prepared, trying to finish up all my work. Yeah, that's about it. Okay. Um, Well, same here. Um, I was, you know, I've been having transitions between planning to move, new job, all those Mm -hmm. type of things. Yeah. And um, I was thinking maybe I would just stay here because it's just so much I'm trying to do. You know, Mm -hmm. I could get some stuff done. But I'm like, you know, I'm going to go home. I, I yeah. miss my family. I love Thanksgiving. And Ashley's already not going to be able to make it. So, um, and Bria was like, what are you going to do? She said, are you going home? Because if you're not coming home, I can come to you because I want to be where you're going. And I said, oh, I'm, I'll, I'll come home. So just, <laughs> just finding other ways to make it happen and be there. Exactly. So going to do that. So I'm excited. Oh, no. I'm excited for that macaroni and cheese. <laughs> That's my favorite. You that sound is- like my sister. She actually just sent me a meme. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, like the ones that are out now, like Thanksgiving with black families. Uh-huh. And it was like some of these places like looking like all sideways, like getting ready. It's like when you, um, something about, it's either when they open up the mac and cheese or when your aunt says, do you want another second hand mm-hmm. of, <laughs> oh, my, second helping of it. And you're just uh-huh. like, um, what do you think? I know. Or like, where do you want it? The corner, the edge, in the middle. middle. Who scoops around the middle? <laughs> It's so funny, but um, I'm definitely going to make my homemade banana pudding. Mm. I haven't had that in a while. Mm. I've been craving it, so I'm going to save it for Thanksgiving. Even? I'm going to make some. It's so good. Oh, my goodness. I'm yes. so ready. Man, my cheeks hurt from smiling. All right. <laughs> so, into our topic. This is our topic. This is our topic, yeah. <laughs> Thanksgiving. So, um, I definitely think, you know, I was thinking about this. And for those who either are in, in college and maybe don't come home as often yeah. or adults who are like, you know, living on their own now or even families who are like, you know, you have your own family now. I think we're so accustomed to doing things our way, like living our lifestyle, that going back home, you know, it has nothing to do with Thanksgiving, but exactly. you're coming home for the holiday or maybe e- any reason that you come home. is that adjustment, you know? Mm-hmm. I think that, one, there's your eating lifestyle, like, mm-hmm. the way you eat. And then you come home, and you're like, oh, okay, it's Thanksgiving. Let me just let me take a break. Cheat here. Yeah. But sometimes you don't, and you still want to incorporate, you know, that lifestyle. So you got to have that willpower to do that. That's one thing. I think another thing is maybe, I don't know, your family's kind of negative or something. <laughs> yeah. And you've been, like, on this positive track, and then going back home into that environment. So it's, I think yeah, I think you should take it as a test. You know, because there's situations where you're out of your comfort zone. What are you gonna do? Exactly. You're not. You're, you're not used to it anymore. Mm-hmm. And I feel like a, for a lot of people, even though I can't speak for everyone, but I feel like for a lot of people, going back home, you revert back to the age you were when you left home. Mm-hmm. Like it's just it just takes over you. It's yeah. just like you're when you have that discipline you can be like okay well you know i i, I gotta go mm-hmm. when you're there you're just like what is going on where am i gonna go <laughs> where am i gonna go what's going on like you get back into like arguing with people mm-hmm. when you were already like pat like you're past that yeah and you go home like what what happened i know <laughs> we've been talking about we talk about this pretty much every year mm-hmm. you know because it's real mm-hmm. yeah and we got to remind you about it but i think you know, um, it's a good time to kind of test your growth True. and see where you are. And it might just try to think of the positive side of it because sometimes, you know, you go home, you're, I know I've been guilty of this, where I go home, so excited to go home, I'm happy. And then I get home and then somebody tries me. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh man, I need to be on a first flight back. back. Yeah. I was, you know, it, sometimes things happen. It doesn't happen every time, but take it as like a, okay. There might be some curveballs, there might be some bumps along the way, but let me take this opportunity to grow and kind of... See how I can approach it differently. Yeah, yeah, try and do it differently this time and see what happens. 
Yeah, that I I think that's a great idea because ultimately you're going to be tested. Mm-hmm. Like there's no it doesn't <laughs> doesn't matter what you've been trying to do, yeah. but you're going to be tested and this will help you see, okay, I may need a little bit more help here, you know. Yeah. I think I think the most um the best kind of like what is it? Thermometer or I guess that's a, a good analogy to kind of or ruler to like rate like where you are mm-hmm. is kind of like Okay, well, I didn't scream today, so mm-hmm. that's a plus. <laughs> yes, give yourself your credit. Give yourself your credit because every little step is like a, a success. <clears throat> right. And I think part of it really is as we grow up and as we continue to grow, um, it's accepting people for who they are and not expecting anything different. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> right. Like, because when we expect them to be different, because, oh, you think, oh, you've been changing and right. you're doing this. But if we expect them to be different and they've done no work, we're going to be disappointed and frustrated. Right. So. Yeah. And you're only responsible for yourself. You're only in control, you're only in control of yourself. You yes. can't control what they're going to do, what they're going to say. Exactly. But at least, you know, if you're trying your best, you know, I mean, if you had a little slip, but if you're trying your best, you know, <laughs> you, you know can go to sleep. know the alcohol could get in there at home. <laughs> <laughs> True. Family gatherings. Yeah. But if you're trying your best, you can go to sleep a little bit more restful and more peaceful that you know, I tried. Exactly. And then try again to the next the next day. day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, kind of really don't, do, like, that's something that I talk say a lot, you know, it's like, dwell, don't really dwell on it, like mm-hmm. the, the negative, because that's where it's going to bring you back down to the level where you don't want to be or mm-hmm. where you've tried to grow. It's yeah. just, you know, all right, it happened. Accept it. Mm-hmm. Let's move. Vent maybe a little bit and move on from it. Yeah. I think that works with diets, too. Okay. You know, like when you are on a diet or a lifestyle, whatever you're doing, you yeah. cheat. You're like, oh, man, now I was ruined. No. And then you're like, oh, it's time to go eat all the cookies. Yeah. <laughs> Not really. Just don't do that tomorrow. Exactly. Okay? Exactly. And keep going because we all have our slips here and there. It's, it's, it's inevitable. It's going to happen. It's part of the process. But I really like what you had to say about the expectations. I think that's mm-hmm. all about preparing. You know yes. what it's like. Be prepared. Exactly. You've been okay. going to the same auntie, uncle, grandma, mm-hmm. right. whoever's house mm-hmm. it is, your parents, for how many years? Because it right. usually doesn't change. Yeah. Unless there's some family drama. But it usually doesn't change. Yeah. So you know what to expect. Yeah. And don't, I'm not saying to go into expecting it to yeah, be yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah, bad. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, you know how they are and, you know, go about it that way. And I think it will, I mean, if you if you have a family where, like, you love your family, your family loves you, you know, you, you want to go and be around for the holidays... It would be really devastating to be like, you know what? I'm not coming back you yeah. know, for that year. So you don't want it to be that way. So I think if you just kind of take some of these steps about, you know, preparation, expectation, being in control of yourself, I think yes. that will help, you know, to make it a little bit easier for you. Oh, yes. You're mm-hmm. 100% right. And know that we're right there with you. Oh. Because we all Preach got it. that. <laughs> we all have something. Exactly. Everybody's family has something. You know, we always say, oh, I wish my family was like your family or this. You know, you don't want to trade what you've got. The grass always looks greener. Always. But doesn't mean it is. And you don't always see the other side of it. Yep. What's that that phrase, don't trade your trash, somebody else's trash or yeah. something like that? <laughs> Keep yeah. your own, you know? Yeah, exactly. So. It's like can... the, that goes along with like the lesser of two, like, not leaving the lesser of two evils, like, mm-hmm. um, well, I know this evil, so I guess I'll pick that right. <laughs> over the other one. So yeah. it's, it's a lot, like, you know, like Eric said, pre- preparation mm-hmm. and being, like, mentally stable in yourself. Yeah. And just the way you look at it, take it as mm-hmm. growth. Because it can be, I don't know, you can kind of kick yourself and be like, man, why'd I have to say that? Exactly. Why, I didn't want to be like that. Exactly. You know, try to make some steps to make it how you want it to be. But knowing that you can only do what you can do. Mm-hmm. You know? And then on the flip do. side, it's like you may hold it in because you don't want to say. Yeah. Like, and then explode. But, uh, <laughs> but you know, you may hold it in. And that's not necessarily good, too. Because if people are really are, you know, violating mm-hmm. your rules, your your um, morals and values and saying these negative things you don't want them to take advantage and think they can right, always right. do it so i think there's a fine line between you know sticking it for yourself and mm-hmm. just letting it go 
Yeah, because there are some people that you can pull them aside. Yes. I recommend the one-on-one. Exactly. Because other people here and they start putting little comments in. <laughs> or people want to show out, you know? Exactly. So I do recommend. Gotta post up. I <laughs> know. <laughs> but when I come around. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah. So I do recommend one-on-one if that's a person you can talk to. There are those people that there is just no talking to them. Yeah. There's- you can't write a letter. You can't, can't talk nothing. to them. They're not going to change. And that's when you say, hey, you write in your journal and write what you want to write exactly. for yourself. Or you talk to somebody close to you, you know, and vent to them about it. Because that person is just not going to be able to hear it. Exactly. It's not that it's you. It's Exactly. It's them. And they don't want to hear it. So no matter how loud you get, <laughs> they're not going to hear it. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Say that again. Doesn't matter how loud you get, they're still not going to hear it. Nope. So do what you got to do for you. Don't stress yourself out. Don't waste your breath. Exactly. Because more often than not, it's like two days and then you're back to... Yeah. Back to your life. Back to your life. Or not even, like a few hours. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. Depending mm-hmm. on where you live. Well, depending on where you live or what you're doing. Yeah. It's just a few hours you're spending with with family. Mm-hmm. Some you may love, some you may not like. But mm-hmm. <laughs> but how often do you, get, do you actually do it? Right. Right. Okay. Well, we wish you a happy holiday. Yep. Have a good time. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you so much for listening to Hearts Chat today, where we speak from the heart. We hope that you enjoyed our show. Catch us every Sunday and Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on our YouTube channel and on our website, which is heartschatradioshow.com. Be sure to follow us on our social media pages at Hearts Chat Radio on Instagram and at Hearts Chat on Twitter, Facebook, and Periscope. We love to hear from you. If you have any comments or questions or topics that you want to hear about, you can email us at heartschat at heartschatradioshow.com. And for all of your personal relationship questions, please visit my blog from ericasheart.com. Thank you for listening to Hearts Chat, where we speak from the heart. Mm-hmm.